Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Continuing with our React and Django series. In this video, we'll be looking into serializing the model which we have created for category app and uh, doing few operations such as make migrations, migrating the model which we have uh, created, adding few categories in the admin panel to demonstrate you how the things work in admin panel and uh, looking into an error which we got previously in the last video session right so directly uh, diving into the part of serialization so what is serialization basically to convert the model which we have created into a jang uh, sorry json format you need to serialize the data and uh, this is possible with the help of rest uh, rest api framework which uh, django provides and uh, with this uh, serialization method uh, within the Django REST framework, you can serialize the model which you have created and uh, provide it in a JSON format. Now, not all fields in your uh, database or the model which you have created requires serialization, but only the necessary fields required can be serialized. It's up to you and uh, here is the documentation for it. You can definitely look into this before jumping into the video. And uh, there are pretty good. The documentation is uh, straightforward and uh, pretty easy to clarify yourself with all the doubts. I highly recommend it to read it and uh, let's get into it, right? So. This is the folder structure which are which we are already managing it and let's get into the API and within the API app we have the category app right now uh, you need to create a serializer.py file in order to serialize the model for the category app right now let's create an app sorry a file in the category app make sure you are within the category app not in your api app right okay now let's create serial dot pi i think it looks good serializes dot pi right let me just check serializes dot pi i don't want any typos over there so currently this file will be empty but uh, we'll get into this in a bit so we have created a file in the category app and uh, let's do some migrations for the model which we have created so let's hit the command python 3 manage dot pi make migrations i think we have a so migrations we have a model for category so we need to migrate that right so let's hit the command migrate and uh, we have applied the migration for our model for the category app now let's look into the category app and uh, migrations folder and this is the initial of dot pi migration which we have initially committed so if you look over here this is the migration which we have done and it basically tells you that this is the model which you have created and let's uh, migrate this and do not create any error right after doing the migration uh, let's check what is the status of our app so clear this let's run the server and uh, open this this is the h3 which we have already the api2 looks good let's open the admin panel so we already had a category model in the previous session which we have created let's add something printer collection demo save so now it got uh, successfully created previously the error 
was occurring due to undone migrations right so make sure whatever changes you do whatever uh, functions you write whatever models you create don't forget to migrate or else you will get error at some point so now we can uh, add uh, basically we can add categories to our uh, category app let's add summer demo save so over here we have created two categories you can perform certain code operations delete update whatever from the django admin panel itself so this was a necessary point where you need to uh, provide migrations or make migrations uh, after doing the model creation process so the error has gone now let's move into serializing part so let's get back to the serializer dot pi five which we have created over here now let's uh, import few things that is from models models import category and uh, let's use class category serializer let's create a class category serializer and uh, serialize let's take it from the documentation itself the argument so, so most of the part which i'm considering over here is from the docs itself so don't get confused with it let's create a class uh, meta and uh, the model category now the field which you want to get serialized so over here we are taking the name and the description field is equal to curly braces name and uh, description yeah so i think this uh, looks good uh, let's format this this is all you need to perform uh, for serialization and one more thing after adding this class serializer you also need to uh, do few things and import the serializer from the django rest framework so you also have to import the rest framework the serializes part from the documentation over here so we missed that actually so that was also a necessary part so now we don't have any error and we want to serialize this two specific fields which is name and uh, description after adding the class serializer let's uh, get into the models.py and uh, add this function that is a string uh, self return name so let's remove this for an instance and see what we get okay so let's see let's run our server let's go into the admin panel And over here, if you notice, the name of the category categories got changed, right? Category object to object one, right? So this is something which we don't want for our application. So in order to achieve that, we have returned this specific line of code that is a string and returning the name. It is kind of a constructor, so don't uh, worry much about it. You can just copy this and uh, you can achieve the name of the category which you are providing there so let's uncomment this and the server runs again let's reload this and we have the name again back again right so let's add another uh, section save so yeah we achieved the serialization part 
so the implementation of serialization is kind of a uh, to do right now but you will get a better idea in the future videos when we implement more on serialization but for now this uh, part is enough so i think this was it uh, let's summarize this video in a, sh a quick uh, get away and uh, let's see what we have covered in this right so first of all to avoid the error we had migrated we have provided the migrations command and migrated the model which we have created for category app and uh, after that we have uh, created a serializes.py file and uh, provided this code in order to serialize the field name and description then in the models.py we have added this in order to get the name which you are specifying in the admin panel to avoid the unordered name right so yeah i think uh, that's it uh, for this uh, video if you have any questions queries and concerns uh, regarding this video feel free to comment down below and uh, in the next video we'll be covering the views part where we'll be uh, writing few functions in the views.py which is in the category section over here which currently is empty but we'll do and cover that in the next video so stay tuned for that and uh, yeah thanks for watching